I want to talk about paraffin heaters for a moment because I've noticed online that many of you seem to be buying them and paying a lot of money in some cases. So a few tips for you when you're looking to buy one. First of all, go for a blue flame type. You can tell a blue flame because you take the flame spreader out and there's a hole straight through the middle of the reservoir. Goes all the way down. You can see through. And that is to let air reach the inside of the cylindrical wick. To pre to get more premix. A better mixture. This burner, see there's Plenty of holes all the way around for the air. That is that mechanism is a tip switch. Obviously, I can't set it because it's not vertical. You set the switch like so, and if your heater falls over, the snuffer comes down and puts it out. That is out of that Valor Viceroy. I found it dumped in the street, waiting for a scrap man. So I took it home. A new wick and some paraffin and it works a treat. This was an eBay buy it now bargain. I couldn't resist it. So I had to get it. And I've just seen one sell for twice the price in an auction this is also blue flame same size then two inch wick hole straight through the middle this feel in that one and you see the hole straight through They are blue flame burners. And these are the, if you're going to have it in your house, that's what I recommend you get. There are smaller than, these are two inch wicks. You can get up to a three inch wick. What you don't want to be buying is anything with flat wicks, like this scruffy old greenhouse burner. Flat wicks. You don't want anything like that. Complete waste of time. This stays in the greenhouse or your shed. If you have it in your house, you need a blue flame. This has also got a snuffer on it. See it in there. Let's see if I can. reset I shall pause you put some fuel in that one that one's got plenty and I shall light them and show you the difference resulting from these air intakes the air inlets because in this one there is no such air intakes but well, the rest of it is the same. I'll just pause you for a little while while I get them wet. Here, I'm back. The lighting process consists of just turning your wick up somewhat, putting a light to it, let the flame spread at least most of the way around. Obviously, set your trip. On his stack. I need to put phone down. Alright, we're done it. Mm. 
and then adjust your wick. until you get a blue flame. We don't want any of them little yellow streaks coming off the top. Oh, it's not quite even, but it's not bad. No, the air in the bottom, air hole in the bottom, if you were to block it while it's running, it will produce lots of yellow flame and soot. Don't block the hole through the middle. It needs air getting in there. So you couldn't run this thing just sat on a carpet, you would restrict the airflow. It must be raised off the, off the surface, like this one holds it up inside here, so air can get through the hole in the middle. Now, well, try lighting this one. I think it might have had nearly enough time for fuel to soak up. Make sure you snuff us out of the way and close your lid. Glass is rather dirty. No, that's terrible. I can't see inside very well. But there is a blue flame in there. Maybe it'll work better if I turn the flash off. Yeah, it's better. Now you can see the blue flame. I can just try and lose any yellow streaks you might see in it. There we go. Blue flame paraffin heaters. Valor Viceroy Mark II and a Valor L210. A freebie and a bargain. I should probably add a couple of words about fuel consumption. That's four litres. That tank will hold a full four litres. It will probably bring it almost just up to the full mark, pretty much. And... Um, if you have it on for four or five hours a day, it will be gone easily in a week. This one's a little bit less intense on the flame. So it will probably use a bit less fuel. So if you have a pair of these, I would say at least a gallon a week each, minimum. But in the middle of winter, when it's very cold, two or three gallon a week to be on the safe side that you're going to need in stock because this stuff is also going to become expensive get it now i suppose well you can <laughs>